Hello there, I am Joseph. This is the Bathers Eye. Oh wait, no it's not. It's Outdated Tryouts. It's World Series Baseball on Sega Saturn. Which I'm not sure why they're playing the video. Oh wait, for a game you can demo, but alright. Chili Davis. So, trademark in five. Now play the sample of the home run derby. Blackness. And getting another. Little video here. The stadium looks like a the crowd looks like a PS1 era crowd. World Series baseball. All right. Not sure how this is going to record. The older demos, older systems are a little bit harder for me to record. So the only thing I can do is home run derby. I'm going to do four players, 20 balls. It's not going to take that long. National League, Atlanta, Colorado, San Diego, San Francisco, LA, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Chicago, St. Louis, Houston, Philly, New York, Florida, and Montreal still in the game. So I'm going to go San Francisco for Barry Bonds. Then over here, Toronto, Texas, Seattle, Oakland, Can California Angels, Chicago White Sox, Minnesota, Kansas City, Cleveland, Milwaukee still in the American League, New York, Detroit, Boston, and Baltimore. Let's go Seattle. Back over here, going to go to Oakland. And then my favorite team, Chicago, Fenway, Astrodome, Wrigley, Yankee. I'm kind of curious on seeing Wrigley. Day game. I've practiced, I've tried this out a little bit in Fenway. So here we go. Go. Here's, some, here's the team that they have. I'm going to go with Barry Bonds. That's Deion Sanders. Over here, he was a Yankee. A-Rod. Ken Griffey. Here, Big Mac is who I'm going to be using. Let's go through the other guys. Ruben Sierra. Jason Giambi. Didn't know he was playing then. And my White Sox. Frank Thomas. John Crux. Only year with the White Sox. Ray Durham. Robin Ventura. One Dog. Tim Raines, he hit 10 home runs, whoa! Ozzy again. Frank Thomas. World Series Baseball, play ball! So I went, eventually steroids, no steroids, steroids, no steroids. Uh, I've seen Wrigley Field look worse, especially when I've been there. Now batting. He hit 3, 20, 12, 37, 29. Wow. Ooh, too early. It looks it looks like a PS1 error baseball game. Into the Ivy. Come on, I can do this. I can hit a home run. 
Oh, just two. And there's a baseball field back there. Foul. Hmm. There we go, in the center. That's gone. Look at he looks alright for a Sega Saturn. I was late on that too. It's out of here! This kind of reminds me of RBI, honestly. I was early. And it's blowing in 18 miles. Holy cow. That's gone. So I don't know how well this is going to record because the... I have an Ava Media recorder. I believe that's how you say that, right? I hope that's how I say it, right? I use it every day. And it only records HDMI, so Sega Saturn's not an HDMI console. I'm using their AV cables to their AV upscaler to upscale it to HDMI and sometimes I have problems with that where it will cut out and the recording will just go bad or the sound will get out of sync or something. Fouled off. So I'm not quite sure how I did how it's gonna record. Foul. I wanna Upgrade one day, but that's not gonna happen because I'm thousands of dollars in debt right now. Uh, early. Man, it's embarrassing. I have to, I have to at least hit 10 home runs. I was late on that, and that's gonna be a home run. Nope, it did not. All right, eight nine. Come on, I can get eight nine. There's a home run. That's a long. That's home a. Run! That's a long home. There you can see the entire ball field over there. There's another one. Goodbye! When I was younger, using Barry Bonds in the home run derby was almost automatic. You had to use him and like Sammy Sosa, shit, Mark McGuire, all these other guys, Ken Griffey. Jose Canseco too. Mo Vaughn. This was a oh, few years before he was a star though. Foul. Come on, nope. So this is on the Sega Saturn bootleg sampler. Foul. There's only three demos on this. This is one of them, a home run challenge basically. Oh my. Sega Rally Championship and Mr. Now was it? He hit Ken two, Griffey three, thirty, three, forty, eleven, and Clockwork Night Two, which I haven't tried. Clockwork Night. I have tried this. I have it on Sega Genesis, and I have Sega oh, Rally my. Championship on. Dreamcast. Oh, that's a pop-up. 17 feet. Ooh. Bam. Nope. Foul. Foul. Come on, that's gotta go out. Gotta go out. Good yes! Home run. Goodbye. Ken Griffey, a White Sox for half a season. Someone who Ken Williams apparently tried to trade All for a lot. Right. Oh wow, that's a line drive home run. Oh, the home runs actually are they they track better in this game than they do in RBI 20, right. which is a game I'm very very familiar with. Especially the home run derby in RBI 20. I like the way the home runs track in this. Where the camera moves with it. At least gives it a feel of some variety. Foul. Wow. It's out 
It is really weird to see clouds in fields over there. I wonder if that's in the real game. I hope it's not. Oh my! I kind of wish I they did like a three inning oh game my. so you could so I could feel how pitching is. many games for the Saturn. Most, I actually think I have just as many demos as I do games. I have three demo discs. This one, Blue Bag Sampler 2, and Panzer Dragoon, which I played and it was awesome. I really want to get Panzer Dragoon now. And it was like a seven minute demo and I was having the time of my life. If I get that game, I have to get a Turbo controller though. And the games I have for it are wow. a Japanese import a Japanese import baseball game, Great 998. Then Quarterback like Challenge, which is a bad football game. Wow. That's it's probably the worst football game I've ever played. That's gone, that's number twelve. And then oh, Men yeah. ninety eight and ninety seven. Those are all that's my entire Sega Saturn collection. Now, Saturn is the console that now came out. He hit 252.90. He must have got hurt that season. Saturn is the console that came after Genesis, and it didn't do very well in the States. It did great wow. in Japan, apparently. But definitely did not do great Goodbye. here. It, they botched their... They botched their they're selling where they did an E3 and they announced the price and it was like $400. And it was supposed to come out like next year around the PlayStation 1 time. And they pushed it up a year and they said the Saturn's available now. And it kind of wrecked their relationship with some major trains. I think KB Toys is one of them, which was a toy store when I was growing up. Crap, I have no timing with Big Mac here. And they didn't really get any killer games in the States. And plus the 32X, which I have, which is... It is crap. The 32X is crap. Wow. I see no difference between the 32X and the regular Genesis. There we go. But yet I still love it. I'm, I want to get the whole 32X library because there's so few games. There's a library I think I could complete, it's that one. That and uh, I want to get the PS2 library because PS2 is my favorite console of all time. Man, I'm sucking it up with the Big Mac. But the 32X kind of wrecked the reputation in Sega in America. Along with... Wow. Along with the Sega CD. Both kind of wrecked the reputation, and then they they did what they did with the launch. It kind of just killed it, and games weren't flying off the chart, off the shelves. And I think at this still at this point, I was still playing Sega Genesis. It's remember, we got a. I remember I got a. My family got a PlayStation One. Damn foul! Like two or three years after it came out. Foul. Actually, 98. 98 was when we got a PS1. Because my parents got me mad in 99 for it. So, 98. So, this was like four years. And this is the one of the competitors to the PlayStation 1 was this system, along with the N64. I remember Business Wars doing a... a PlayStation vs. Nintendo episode. And Business Wars is a podcast. Where they talk about two businesses. It's usually like it's sometimes Coke, Pepsi, WCW versus uh, WC. Was it WWE versus WCW? So they just take two businesses, and the WCW one versus WWE wow. one wasn't as accurate 
as some other ones, or it didn't seem right to me. But whatever. So they did a Nintendo vs. PlayStation, and they had a Frank Thomas at 353, 38, and 2. And they had a episode about, and they they talked about how the Sega Saturn was a monster system to develop for, and it had it was like. A patchwork system, and then they followed it up with the Dreamcast, which oh is a my. good system. But they kind of Sega kind of shot themselves in the foot. But oh check out the my. Business Wars Sony vs Nintendo episode. They did a, I think, a fantastic job on it. It's so I'm a White Sox fan. The White Sox sent me a survey not too long ago about. This year's team. One of the questions was, "Who is one of your favorite? Who is your favorite White Sox player of all time?" And that's a tough question to answer, especially for me. I couldn't answer just one. I had I put four down. One of them is the man I'm using right now, Frank Thomas. Another one is Magido Odonias, who the very first White Sox team. I ever went to, he hit a walk-off home run, which was crazy town. Oh, I finally ended the streak. I thought if I mentioned, didn't mention that, it would keep going. Wow. But Magdo Odonia's very first White Sox game mm. I went to, he hit a walk-off home run. I think I I cried when I found out he wasn't going to be a White Sox in like 05, which I think I told this story already, oh, but my. it's... It's kind of a good and a bad thing, because if he was still here, they wouldn't have signed Jermaine Dye, and Jermaine Dye was a huge part of why the White Sox won the World Series. So I kind of feel alright, but not so alright about it. But yeah, Magdo Odonis was another one, and getting getting to watch him in Detroit kick our ass was something also fondly great. Then the next one was Paul Canerco, and he's... So clutch, especially in 05, he was so clutch. So consistent for so many years, it was it's hard not to love him. Wow. And the final one I put was the only pitcher of the bunch was Mark Brody. And who what White Sox fan doesn't love Mark Brody? He he signed a card for me once. And it was one of the happiest moments that I've had. I'm crushing it with Big Hurt here. Oh my! Frank Thomas is kind of—it's kind of a uh, tragedy to me because he should have finished his career with the White Sox. He should have hit his 500 career with us, not with Toronto. He shouldn't wow. have played for Oakland and then played for Toronto and then played for Oakland again. That should have never happened. He should have been a pure White Sox through and through. Oh. My last pitch here. Come on. Oh, foul. Foul. All right. Bonds hit eight with a max of 475. Griffey hit 13 with 42. Bonds hit 457, 385, 459, 440. 426, 386, 470. So, all right. As Thomas hit 14, he hit, he just out hit Griffey by one. And Bonds and McGuire, the two steroid guys are the guys that didn't hit 10, and the two that were not on steroids. Look at that, eight straight home runs. Oh man, how many did I hit? I hit seven with Griffey. With Griffey hitting 482, Griffey, Bonds, Griffey, 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 holy shit! Thomas, Bonds, Thomas, Bonds, then Thomas, 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 Griffey, Griffey, Griffey. Oh wow, look at that, Big Mac didn't make it onto the top 20. Alright, so that's World Series Baseball for Sega Saturn. 
Thanks for chilling out with me. I'll see you next time. Peace out.